Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be Better Golf. I'm here with Eric Mike Tree. Hey Eric. Good morning. Good to see you. You as well. Uh, we're having a good time here on the range. We've been talking about what you need to do to get sharp for actually playing golf. What you can do on the range to be good on the golf course, not just be like a range pro. So uh, you guys may have seen we did a video where I was, it was kind of like a range vlog where Eric was caddying for me as we went around this golf course. And we're gonna flip it around a little bit and Eric is gonna virtually, or mentally I guess, play the back nine at El Dorado. Uh, a course that, have you had any success, success there in El Dorado? Um, is it one in Long Beach? It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah I've played there a few times. Yeah. <laughs> so Eric has won the Long Beach Open twice and has played the Long Beach Open how many times? Uh, maybe a dozen. 12 times, and so uh, which is a big tournament. It's like one of the biggest um, totally independent golf tournaments as far as you can just show up. And so you got to beat out oh, 250 guys or so to, to be the champ. So he's done it before. So uh, so Eric, I'm gonna, I'll kind of be your caddy, but then um, kind of describe for us the, the different challenges or shapes or how you like to play the, those holes. So uh, we'll go straight into it. Great. So the first hole, Eric, is a par five. There's no longer a tree on the left side anymore. They oh, cut... I've hit that tree once. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what kind of shape are you trying to do on this shot with the bunkers on the left um, and the uh, kind I of the just, hot spot on the left side? of the Yeah, I just, uh, it's always been kind of right at that tree and hitting it high okay. and hard. Okay. And if it goes... Oh, you try to go over it? Yeah, I go over it. Okay. Yeah, but it's gone, so yeah. it's straight away. So it's whatever shape. Okay. It's whatever shape my body at that particular time so what are you feeling today? What's what's been a been a shape that you've been hitting recently? Um, pretty straight or a little left to right. Okay. Yeah. So I just find you know find I'll look down this particular fairway and I'll see I can picture the tenth hole at El Dorado and and what the what the vibe and the feel is. So I'd look down towards that orange flag and I just let it go. Orange flag is right over there. Oh, perfect. That's a beautiful fade. It's about to, you know, land right by the orange flag. All right, Eric, so after that shot, you're going to have 250 yards in or yeah, so? Yeah, at least. At least, yeah, um, 250 to 270. A couple of years ago, I'd have 250. Okay. I think now I'm in the 265 range. So you're, just, so you're trying to get to a point where you're kind of on the upslope and an easy up and down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll, I'll take... Uh, you know, in this case, I'll, I'll take three wood and probably have to go a little right to left mm -hmm. and chase it up there. I, I can fly it up there at the right conditions. Um, but just as I feel right now, I don't feel like I've got 260 in the air. Right. You know, uh, just with it being early mm -hmm. and I'm not, you know, overly conditioned. Uh, so I'll take three wood and just hit a, try to hit a draw that would go at that tree to the right, right of the green flag, and see if I can bring it in just a little bit. Yeah, so we're aiming right for that tree right there. Let's chase it up there. Okay, coming back at it. Great, so I reckon you got, it's to a red pin, so it's kind of like a high 10 yard a uh, high soft 10 yard shot is all you have left into yeah. this par five. Yeah, so we got it in good position. So I'll just take it, you know, towards a, just picturing the, the shot in my head and finding a good landing spot. Nice. All right, so, so they've been doing the Long Beach Open recently on Sunday, we'll say it's Sunday. They've been teeing it up, like right at 310 yards on the 11th hole. Oh, way up there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so there is water left. Yeah. That So it's kind of a choice. You either have to hit it 230 or you have to hit it 300. Yeah. So uh, what would what do you do when they have it teed up there now? When it was way up, I was going. I was, okay. I was hitting driver. Yeah. Yeah. Let's uh, do it. Or I just, you know, chip a four iron down the So like fairway. I said, there's, there's a pond about here uh, that's out at... 250 to 300 and then and then there's there's a green yeah so i'd tee it high fade it, it high and let that sucker go with a fade yeah yeah with a fade so you aim at that pine tree on the right yeah the bigger one the oh the bigger one okay yeah i'll go with the bigger one yeah yeah that's this one here oh 
Oh, perfect. Oh, that's an eagle putt. That's an eagle putt. We can go straight to the par three. All right, 220 yards, par three. Yeah, it's usually, uh, that par three is usually four or five iron for me. Okay. Um, usually plays in the... Like 216-ish, yeah, something like that? Yeah, anywhere from like 205 to about 220. Okay. Um, now, not to pull you off your shot, but just because I'm interested, on a Sunday when, when you've been there, how do you manage as far as like, if you're playing really well and you have adrenaline, how do you manage where like, you might be hitting it like 10% further, yeah. you know? So how do you manage that? You feel it. You just feel like, oh, I'm hitting it really good right now, so I don't need to. It's, and it's, it's not even a conversation. It's just, it's just a look. It's just looking, like right now there's no adrenaline. It's kind of cool, so I feel it. So two, 220 for me right now would probably be a little hybrid. Uh, never hit hybrid on that particular hole but it's that the eyes open up a lot that the brain doesn't need to be tapped into to to get okay well like DeChambeau would great for him he's like okay I've got uh, 9.5 percent of adrenaline I've got humidity is down at 27 percent so it's gonna be this for for me it's my eyes and my senses are alive with just looking and feeling what you know I look at my yardage book or range finders it's 208 yards and just by looking at it and feeling the temperature and sensing the humidity and all that stuff I can just look at it and go it feels like six iron or it feels like four iron or it feels like whatever it feels yeah. like the adrenaline's included humidity's included all the factors are included and for you that instinct will be a lot more accurate than if you had tried to like do all the math you actually would probably pull a worse club yeah yeah yeah. Okay, let's see it. Yeah. So we got 208 into this uh, par three. Where are you aiming at here, Eric? Go with that green flag. Okay. Right the green flag is right there. Oh, that's the white flag. Green flag is right there. That's putting. That's good. That's going to be like a 25 footer. It's usually where I yep. hit it on Sundays to a back right pin <laughs> okay. with a two shot lead. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, uphill and uh, yeah. looking good. All right, this is what probably the, the this is on the card, the most difficult hole on the back yeah, nine for hole. sure. Yeah. This yeah. hole has yeah. sunk a lot of people's hopes. Yeah. There is a, so it's number 13. There's water, water left. It's a dog leg right. It's uh, 430 yards or so uh, flat and then uphill second shot. So uh, you play a pretty consistent fade. Do you have the confidence in it to aim at the water uh, and yeah, it let it come back, or how do you play this one? It doesn't have to go that that far. It's not that big of a fade. So it's at, there's a, I think it's either the 150 post or the 100 yard post that's up the left side, but not at the water's edge that I always tend to find. And I just look at that, hang at that, and let it go just a little bit to the right. Okay. Um, just a normal ball flight. I don't try to go low or go high. No. Just a normal okay. flight. Is that teed up normal or is that slightly low? Uh, that's pretty normal. Okay. For, for that particular hole. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. And usually from there, it's. Uh, so you have 145 in or so? Yeah, it's usually less than that. Usually in the 120. Oh, yeah. Usually in yeah. the 120 range. But final group on Sunday, uh, El Dorado, the wind usually picks up a little bit yeah. by that point. So yep. uh, it's usually in the right around 120. Um, so it's usually a little pitching wedge. All right. So th with this one, Eric, I want you to imagine it is a blue flag. So do you think about like how it's going to land into the green as far as like I'm going to land it short and let it roll oh, yeah. or land it long and let it yeah. stick? Yeah. So how are you going to play this pitching wedge a little bit different if you want it to land in the middle of the green but then release 10 yards or so? It'll just, I'll just get on top of it just a hair just to flight it down some. So mm -hmm. it's not a real fast. It, I don't like it to a back flag. I don't like it coming in fast. Yeah. But it does come in just a hair lower. All right, let me, let me aim you over there at that black and white on the right.
Oh, that's exactly what it's gonna do. Good one. All right, this one is a, uh, it was like 350 or yeah. so, par, par four, 14th hole. So you have out kind of your, uh, your long hybrid, huh? Yeah, my 18 degree. How many yards does this fly for you? Uh, for that, on that hole, it's 230. You know, so it's, uh, again, usually a little downwind at that point, but. So uh, you're hoping to get like a 100 or 105 yard shot in? Yeah. 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 Well, with this, I usually do get it down there around, let's say inside 140. I, I usually don't get it that far down the fairway on, on that hole. So yeah. To yeah. Because that brings is, that right bunker into yeah, play. Yeah, bunker on the, yeah. Yeah. So I always just hit hybrid and uh, it's usually either a pitching wedge or a, a gap wedge. Okay. You know, from there. And it's just a straight, just a straight flight. So we can go down to a bigger pine tree down there. Going for that tree right there. Oh, perfect, Eric. Oh, that was nice. Oh, you're heating up. This is starting to feel like real golf to you because you're, you're hitting better and better shots. All right, so that's what you got here. You got like one, 135 or 140? Yeah. So we'll go Let's go to that white or in line with that white flag. Okay. So this would just be a you know kind of a stock pitching wedge. That's that flag right high, there. High, not low, just 135, 140-ish. Oh, that's a great shot. All right. Are you're, you've been playing well enough. Now you're two shots back of the lead as we're going into 15 here. So will you play more aggressively if you're a little if you're a little back, or will you start to just like let it come to you? How do how do you? You you make you make birdies with your putter. So playing aggressive off the tee at El Dorado doesn't give you a whole lot more because they're they're wedges on all the par fours. So it's just getting in position whether. You know, trying to get more aggressive off the tee, what's it going to give me? 95 yards instead of 110 or 15? Doesn't do anything. So again, I just put it in position and hit a shot on the green and try to make a putt. So when when you players can get in trouble trying to make birdies right off the tee? Yeah, you don't yeah. have to. Yeah. Just put it in position. You're going to have a short club in on every single hole out there. All right, this, this hole, um, they've trimmed it back a little bit, but it used to be a ridiculously tight alley that yeah. you had to go through of trees. It still is a little bit. Yeah. And I've seen guys play, I, I mean, I would imagine you would play that super low teed up driver here. Is that right? For a lot of years, I hit it off the deck there. It's just gone let's low. see it. All right, so let's imagine the fairway is between the big pine tree and the little pine tree. Over on the right there? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the edges of the pine trees would still be okay. So we're trying to go in this gap that's right about there between that tree and that tree. So when I, when I get the command, which obviously I know the course or I get it from you, I, I take just a few seconds to let the image of the hole seep in before I just go, oh, there, okay, here we go. It's like, wait a minute, I'm playing a particular hole in a particular shot. Mm -hmm. So you gave me and, and you described that the, they brought the trees up a little bit. It's not as tight. So my mind is now just visualizing that. And I go, okay, yeah, get it, get it. You're giving it to me. You're giving it to me, but obviously when I'm playing, I see it. Right. So it's giving it to me. Right, so here on the range, when we're doing this before our, our golf trip or whatever, you have to take a little extra care to really like, hey, really hone in and visualize it. Don't just go through the motions. Don't just, 200 yards, 100 yards. It's, yeah. it's easy. We're not really responding to anything. We're just kind of whipping through it going, yeah, I just played nine holes on the range in eight minutes. You know, I take a second and and I even as I talk to you, I'm still processing a picture. So I let the I let that image seep in of what I want on that hole and I see it. OK, good. There it there's a big picture in my head. Those two trees, I can see the telephone pole from the driving range behind, right? And there's always a pole that I go to. So as we look down at those two trees and I see that telephone pole in between, I'm setting up to that. 
and I'm responding to that low driver that we talk about. Oh, what a perfect shot. Right in the middle. So I, so I take enough Just time, in front of that bunker on the right. Just yeah. in front of that bunker That's on the perfect. right. I take the right amount of time to, to really let that hole in that particular shot be big instead of just rushing through it. Great. So you got 135 or so? No, it's usually in the... It's usually good. With that, I usually get it inside of 110. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, usually the gap wedge for me... It's usually my 54, my 58. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm coming into that hole on. Okay, so that was... So, so uh, what, a white pen, let's say, it's, it, where do they put it? On, on the left on Sunday, cl a little closer to the water? Or no. Where's it been? It's been front right. I think I birdied it my first year or second. I can't remember what year I... No, my second year I won. The second win. Yeah. yeah. It was kind of middle right. Okay. Yeah. So we'll go, where do we want to go? Over the yellow? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. So we're going to go right about there. Okay, so just a, a longer putt. Yeah. So 20, uh, 20 footer or so. All right, so let, uh, we putted that one. Now we're, we're gonna go uh, out of the chute here. Yeah. For the 16th hole, so they have, it's like a pros only kind of tee. Yeah. That you can, uh, you gotta hit it like like 220 or so. Um, or even less. I mean, I, I almost never play it from there. Yeah, it's, uh, I usually hit hybrid. And I okay. just, well, two things. I usually I either hit hybrid or I'll take driver back there and hit it low. Yeah. This low shape slider. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I go hybrid high or driver low. Whatever if the if the whole location is in the very front, mm -hmm. I hit hybrid and keep it back. If it's back a little bit, I'll take the driver and pinch it around the corner. Gotcha. Go low. I right, guess this is a as a par four sixteenth hole, it's it's through it's a extreme dog leg right. Two hundred and twenty yards. Go for it, Eric. We'll just hit a hybrid that goes a little high and left to right. And you're aiming at the big pine tree or? Yeah, the big one. Okay. Yeah. That's right there. Woo. All right, so if this is the tournament and that, ha and that happens, which happens sometimes, yeah. what do you do? So that, so, so that would be, that'd be just like, made the hole just a lot longer really that's yeah, all longer and kind yeah. of in jail over yeah. that left side so you're yeah. gonna have to punch out in that from I'd there probably if i mean as i get down in those trees and i just again it's just my eyes looking at options right and seeing what's available to me and i always want to go to the hole i want to hold it everything i look at it's like i want to hold it if i can't where's the best place to play from next so you know over in those trees it's basically jail so it's usually just a foot wedge it's, whacking it yeah, back it's in too the thick to it's try to thick. hold it from there yeah and that big front bunker in the front of the green you know okay can't let's get let's see that. a punch out here then yeah so you're just trying to keep it low and hit it to about the yellow flag or so huh I'm just yeah i mean it's just uh it's just taking you know i'll just take a little eight iron and we're just getting it getting it back in position oh perfect so that'll leave you like 70 yards now? Yeah. Something like that? Yeah. Okay, I've seen this shot hold out before. A friend of, a friend of mine did it. 70 yards on this hole. So um, what's a good specific 70 yard target out here or so? The yellow. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so are you gonna try to land this just in front or are you gonna try to land it right on the stick here? Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and land it on the stick. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll Because that would be it. about your aiming spot. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, so it, doesn't have to be real specific for stuff like this. It's again back to the beginning of the session. It's freeing ourselves up from being technical. So the important thing is is to to get a picture and respond to it without doing it through technical nuances of making sure I do this or that. So uh, go it, for it. It's transitioning from the technical range session to to playing golf with your buddies or in a tournament.
right. Got a chance at par. Got a chance. All right. Par. <laughs> we got a par three. Uh, what is it from back there? 180 or something? Yeah, it's around 180. Yeah. 180, par three. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. Narrow green. Uh, I'll hit six iron. Okay. Uh, we'll go down in that, that green flag. It's a, it's a great 17th hole yeah. in a golf tournament because the wind is usually up. The green is very narrow. Uh, it's not real easy getting it up and down from around that green because both sides go like this. So, I mean, just a just an awesome way to, to play a 17th hole. I birdied it the first 2011 when I won, and I've always struggled on that hole, but I was able yeah. to yeah. hit a That's seven awesome. iron in there and make it about a 15 footer. And, like, yeah, this is cool. I never birdie this hole. <laughs> right. Something special about today. Yeah. Great shot. So you've been playing Long Beach Open for like six or seven years before you won? Um, yeah, what was that, 2011? So yeah, 2004 or five. Oh wow! Started. Cool. Yep. All right, driver, par par five. So, so you you had a struggle. So you you but you just made a birdie on the seventeenth hole because that was a good shot. So now you're you're one you are one shot back going into the final hole. But the wheels are kind of coming off the leader, so you know you got a chance. But uh, I I see almost everybody gets it on the green or or chipping from around the green in yeah. two shots. Up on this uh, 400, uh, 499 or 510 yard right. uh, par five. So what's your philosophy here? Um, in play, okay. I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna, gonna reach get there regardless, so you don't have yeah. to try to kill don't it. Don't have to kill it. And I see, and I've done it, I've been guilty of it, and I see a lot of guys do it. Because it's a reachable par five, they, they try to go for more than what's needed. And they usually lose it just a little bit to the right. And they start getting blocked out. Just gotta lay up, yeah. yeah. So it's always just a, when I won in 2014, the, the uh, Long Beach Gazette came out and did a n nice piece and they followed us to la the back nine. And I hit my tee shot and I was playing with Garrett Sapp and I can't remember the other guy. Uh, I think Nick Sherwood. And I hit, I think I out drove them by 10 or 15 yards and I had 190. Yeah. And I remember looking back at the video that they did and I saw the swing I made. Yeah, it looked like, like a cool 96 mile an hour if you driver head speed. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Like, I'm like, that was that swing? Because I killed it. Yeah. And I, I mean, I hit it so good and, and I was passing You were like, yeah, you were watching the video looking forward to, oh, when am I going to see that 18th tee shot? Because yeah. that, was, that was a monster. Yeah, it was like, whoop, like that was it. <laughs> All right. But, but before you hit that shot, you weren't going to try to kill it. It just, it just came off so pure and so quick that, and yeah. I never look like I try to kill it. Yeah. Even when I'm going at it hard, like, you know, 10 minutes ago when I, when we were on 11 and it was 300 in the air. Yeah. It doesn't, no. I, you know, it just, it, I, I've never seen a swing that I've made that looks like I'm going more than about a hundred miles an hour. Right. And I think my swing speed is about 110 maybe you know, right it's not that fast yeah. it's just efficient all right so par five it, it it's a wide fairway but it's almost like deceptively wide because it is wide but but i see a lot of people maybe because of how wide it is and it, it being the 18th hole yeah they end up missing it it's, uh, often they, it's a reachable par five so they it's trying to stretch trying to stretch and it's not needed so let's see it again it's just down the kind of left side around that orange flag okay i like I like it falling again a little bit to the right. Oh, perfect. Oh, and that gave you kind of a, that was low enough to get a hot hop. And that little, yeah. off that bunker, it kind of can uh -huh. find that spot. There's the, yeah, that left, there's kind of like a little racetrack there. Yeah. All right, so that's going to jump out there. So you'll have how much in here? Um, I'm usually in the two around 200 to 10 you know again afternoon the wind picks up the wind kind of comes from the left a little bit in uh so for there it's it's been over the years anywhere between six iron and up okay um but it's usually one of the hybrids or and obviously depending on the whole location where do they usually put it uh on sunday they put it back left 
Yeah. That all the way back in that corner, mm -hmm. or kind of slopes away. Yeah. In that back corner. Yeah. Um, I think that's where it's been the last. So where's your target here? Eric? Final round. Uh, we'll go at the at that orange flag. I'll just hit a hybrid. Be fairly straight. Doesn't have to do a whole lot. If anything, it goes left to right. Just just mm -hmm. going with the wind. All right, you put the shot on the green, it's going to be a playoff. Ooh. The other guy had a problem. Oh, I pulled it. Pulled it. So, all right, now you got to get it up and down. Yeah. So now you got to get up and down from near the cart path. Oh, it went all the way to the cart path? Yeah, it hit the hill. It's impossible. It hit to the hill, it hit right the hill and kick left <laughs> to near the cart path. So just uh, hit, a, hit a good pitch here and then... Yeah, you pretty much can't go low around that Kikuya stuff. All right. So I'm gonna land it uh, just past that shadow right there in the, in the tree here. Okay. A little short. Okay, and then he makes a putt for birdie to yeah. go into the playoff. <laughs> and uh, and you guys will have to stay tuned to see if you want. <laughs> hey, that was fun. Yeah, that was good. Probably the best practice you got all week. That's right. <laughs> all right. Uh, guys, thanks for watching, everybody. If you guys are interested in uh, seeing Eric, he's, uh, he's playing golf. He's also teaching lessons, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Here at Rancho California in Murrieta, his uh, number, if you want to send him a text and uh, come visit, is in the description to this video. He's also... Uh, sometimes on instagram at easy golf or easy e golfer easy e golf yeah. easy e golf so uh i'll put that also in the description thanks a lot Eric. yeah thank fun. you yep. great